Okay, should be recording now. So, in this tutorial that I'm making, mainly for Fraser, because I love the guy, I love him, he's a cool little guy. But uh, what we're going to be doing is using the retopology function in ZBrush. So, what you want to do is open up your tool. So, I've chosen Goathead, and I've already done a retopology of it. But I want this one, I want the original one that I made from ZBrush or, you know, your detailed version from Maya, whatever. So you want your Z tool all loaded up. Now we're going to have the Z sphere. And the reason why you bring in what you want beforehand is because you're going to go to Rigging, Select Mesh, and this will open up and your little goat here, head will be stored in here. So select that and you can scale this down if you want to personally I don't, I don't see the point I'm going to bind the mesh now we can rotate around a little bit it's bound to the z-sphere and what we're going to do is just as simple as this click topology, edit topology and this is all within the tool set by the way and this right here isn't the highest res of the goat scale that I made but I lowered it just so that I could manage to run the recording software and ZBrush at the same time. It's going to chug. It chugs even a little bit when you're doing the retopology, but I'll show you why it's so good anyways. Okie, don't need to see that, don't need to see that. Now for the retopology tool, just put that down to 1. You won't need it unless you're trying to get back topology from what you've already worked on. We're going to do Control, you know it's his mask, but do control, oh, hit X for symmetry. I'm going to do control. Okay, so now we've drawn in a little bit of topology. And yeah, that's the beginning of our new mesh. So I'm going to move that in a sec, but just to give you an idea of how this works is We've got our old mesh here, and if at any time you want to see what the new mesh looks like, the one that we've drawn so far, you just hit A. Oh, and of course, remove the density. There we go. Cool, right? Yeah, I bet you didn't know you could do that, eh? Did you, Fraser? That's right. Okay. Now that I'm done making an ass of myself, continue. So here's, oh yeah, move, move works, so I can move around the vertices, and as near as I can tell in this program, what it's doing is, it is colliding the new vertices with the old mesh, so it's basically, I don't know, shooting a laser, and on that laser is the mesh, or the vertice. And once that vertice hits, we have our placement. Look at that. Okay, now one thing, if you've been following along so far, you're going to notice that I forgot to tell you something. In order to draw from a specific vertice, you're going to have to hold shift, so shift will select the vertice you're drawing from. Otherwise, what's going to happen is it usually will, if you just keep drawing lines, it'll draw from the first one. See, there we go. Even though it ended here, it drew from here. I'm just going to remove that. Alt to remove, just like anything else. Move that back down here. Look, got a little goatee, if you will. Yeah. Okie dokie. So we'll pop this out a little bit. There is an exception, though. Sometimes it will just keep following if it's the newest one. The exception that proves the rule. And see, isn't that neat? It's from the side, but it automatically detected where to place this. 
And that is why we all love the retopology function. Yeah, that is essentially the gist of it. You'll ignore the really crappy job I'm doing here. I think you'll see my point. The only thing I don't like about this is I've noticed this for the teeth especially is it is really hard to get all the little details in like no matter how hard I try or I'm never gonna get these perfect and in the end I'm just gonna normal map them in Maya by baking on the details from the higher poly and that's how you do it you make this little you make your detailed version first then you make this version simplified and you export them both into Maya over top of one another all you gotta do is bake the normal map onto the low poly one all your details are saved and you got to have all the fun of just taking a z-sphere or what have you the high poly detailed version and putting that onto your low, clean, didn't take any time, or even thought really to model. Oh yeah, and if you uh, click in the middle of a line, it will put a new vertice right there. If that's a new vertice, I can move it. There you go.